All right, guys. I'm back. So, welcome to the vlog. My name is Steph. In this video, I'm going to talk about PHP versus C++. Now, for some of you out there, you probably know the answer to this uh, discussion about the two programming languages. But I'm putting this out because some people may be searching for that particular answer because they're noobs, they don't know. So uh, I want to make the information as accessible as possible for everybody concerned, okay? So let's get into it. PHP versus C++. Which language should I choose? Number one principle I always talk about is that the language, for the most part, doesn't matter. You don't want to learn languages like Perl or uh, ActionScript, which you know, nobody uses anymore. But of the actively used languages, C++, JavaScript, Java, PHP, uh, Python, uh, C Sharp, and there are several others, there's jobs in all of them. And the number one thing that you've got to consider when you're choosing a programming language is not so much the market, although you should check to see what your local market is all about. Meaning, if you live in New York City, check to see what people are doing in New York City. If you live in uh, Hong Kong, check to see what people are doing in Hong Kong in terms of programming. See where the demand is. You may find that in Hong Kong, there's a whole bunch of work for PHP developers that you may find in New York City, but there's no work for PHP developers. There might be a whole bunch of work for C++ guys or JavaScript guys or Java guys. You get where I'm going, right? So first thing you got to do is check the local market. Well, I don't know if it's the first, but one of two top things. Check the market, see what's available. And number two, you got to look at the type of programming that you want to do. C++ programming is a very low-level language, meaning you're you have total control over the software that you're writing, but it requires a lot more work, a lot more detailed uh, effort to get out some sort of working application. The upside with C++, though, it runs super fast. It's very performant. So people build uh, gaming engines and uh, they'll build little apps, uh, little programs to run small devices that don't have much power because C++ is just very, very efficient. You can write very efficient code. That power and efficiency that you get with C++, though, comes at the cost of complexity and uh, the amount of effort it takes to get anything else out. You have to build from scratch almost. Whereas, uh, although they do have libraries and so on, but compared to higher level languages like PHP, Java, C Sharp, Ruby, Python, uh, JavaScript, these languages uh, are not, they don't run nearly as quickly as C++, but they require much less code to get anything done. And that's the cost of that. So you have a lot less code to write, but the cost is speed at runtime, meaning when the, your program, your code is actually running, it runs a much slower. So when you're looking at PHP versus C++, you gotta first look at your local market. And number two, you gotta look at the kind of work that you're doing. Now that's why I mentioned about the speed and what kind of work, you know, I'm talking about you know, detailed work with C++, Whereas with uh, PHP, it's very high level. Now, PHP is a pretty easy one to discuss versus, say, Python. Why? Because PHP is a very specific uh, language in that it's only used, for the most part, to create web apps with. Whereas Python, you can do all kinds of different things with it. But when it comes to building web apps, PHP is king. It's so easy to get up and running with PHP. And it's been designed for the web from the get-go. So to get web apps going in PHP is just really easy. And there's a huge demand for PHP, especially for the freelancing world. Now, again, people who've watched my vlogs, you know that overall I don't have any favorite language, generally speaking. It depends on the type of work that you do. In my own career as a software developer, I was writing apps in many different languages depending on the needs of the particular job. Uh, when I was younger, immature, with only a few years experience under my belt, I was going there and say, I'm this type of programmer. I'm like, I'm a Java programmer. That's everything is Java. It's kind of like that, that old expression. Uh, um, if, you, if you have a hammer, everything is a nail. That's something like that. You get the idea. The point is you gotta, you gotta get away from that. You gotta get away from the, the idea that uh, you are this PHP programmer, or you're a C++ programmer, or you're a Java programmer. No, you are a programmer who uses the language based on the particular needs of the job. You're not going to be using C++ to write web apps because 
uh, although it could do a fantastic job, but the amount of work it would require would be crazy. You're much better off to build your web apps with PHP. On the flip side, you're not going to be writing uh, using PHP code to uh, create AI. You could. I've seen actual people implement uh, machine learning uh, algorithms with PHP, but why would you do that when you have languages that are better suited towards that, C++ and big time Python and, and the Go language? Anyhow, so here, so we are here to talk about PHP versus C++. Again, consider the local market demands. Two, think about the type of programming what you do. PHP, you're doing web apps, you're doing maybe WordPress customizations, and that's what you're doing. Very lucrative. It's a very visual type of programming, relatively speaking. A little bit of code gets a lot done. Whereas with uh, C++, you can do whatever you want with it, but you're, you're using C++ to build uh, gaming engines, writing code for small devices that need that super refined uh, and ultra-performant uh, software. So there you go. This is uh, consistent now for years. So I'm recording this in late November 2017, but this is, a, is going to be applicable for 2018. That's why I'm calling it... PHP versus C++ in 2018. And uh, yeah, because 2018 is just around the corner. I hope you find this video uh, useful. I've actually written a piece. I've written an article. I linked to it right under this video. You can read it. It's a kind of a, covers pretty much the same thing, but maybe a slightly more organized take because it's written or you can edit it and so on. All right, that's it for now.